I am the, probably the only person that gets excited when I have to change a light bulb. Most people roll their eyes and go, and I'm like, yes, another piece of stock. I have been creative probably since like the day I was born. Uh, it's, it's, it's definitely in my blood. I tried to go into a, um, a blue collar job, a white collar job. And, uh, and I didn't, I, w I didn't survive. <laughs> the last 10 or so years I've been working as an artist. The art for me is a huge component in my mental health and my, uh, the way that I'm able to, to conduct my daily life. When I was a little kid growing up, I used to give the neighborhood kids like art lessons. <laughs> <laughs> when I was like seven and eight years old. And one day I just, I guess I had a light bulb of an idea. And I looked at an old empty light bulb and thought, I wonder if I could put something inside of that to make it interesting because it had burned out. And I was like, well, it feels like a shame to throw things out. But I have a problem with throwing things out. Some people call that hoarding, I call it creativity. I started experimenting with these light bulbs and putting things on the outsides of them and painting them and seeing what they could turn into. How can I make this something that's beautiful? And it just spiraled out of control. I started with paint and then I moved to wire. And then I thought, what if I put something inside of it? Um, the trees and the butterflies and the decorations that go inside of it. Like what happens if I actually light it up? What happens if I can make that light bulb have its light again? I have um, taught myself a lot about um, miniature LED lighting. If I go too long without playing music or being creative, um, the sadness kicks in, you know? Um, and so it's super important for me to make sure that I take the time to do these things. When people get in a bad spot, when mental health uh, starts to waver, and the last few years have been rough for a lot of people, myself included, um, a lot of people think they just need to take breaks. I'll just take a break and then I'll be okay. Um, and what I've learned is that breaks aren't enough. You can take as many breaks as you want and just shut down and turn on the TV and, and forget about the world for a minute. That's a temporary band-aid. Art is, is huge for maintaining my mental health. Yeah. So even for people who think they might not be good at it, I was never, I wasn't good at it when I was seven years old teaching, uh, teaching classes to the, the neighborhood kids. Uh, we were all terrible at it, but it's something that's practiced. And if you enjoy it and you can find some joy in it, then just keep doing it. And one day, maybe you'll end up jamming things in light bulbs. <laughs> Son of a...